Okay, hey, seventh grade. So our learning target today is I can calculate the area of a sector. So I want you to think of it like a section. Uh, we're going to be on page six. So what we're talking about today is if you're going to have a section of the pizza or a slice of pizza. So the word sector really means section. So our definitions for today, sector is a portion of the area of a circle. It's like a slice of pizza, two slices of pizza, and so on. So here's an example. So we have the circle, and let's say that you're going to go ahead and have these two slices of pizza. What happens if you eat that much pizza? What area of the pizza did you eat? So we're going to talk about how we break that down. It's going to be very similar to arc length in the process, except we're going to be working through that area in this uh, our work today. All right, here we go. So we are going to have three steps in how we solve these. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to find the area of the whole circle. Go ahead and write the word area in, area of the whole circle. So we would use area is pi r squared, or pi r squared sounds like area to me. <clears throat> After we do that, we're going to determine what part or what fraction of the area we need to find. We've already worked through that with circumference, but we're going to do that again now today when we talk about area of a circle or sector of a circle. After we do that, we will multiply. We can use decimal form or we can use uh, fraction equivalents. Everything I do today will be a fraction equivalent. So there's our three steps. Find the area. Pi r squared sounds like area to me. Find what part of the circle we're going to eat, what fraction of the circle we're going to eat, and we will multiply. Here's example one. So we have this pizza. We will assume that we're going to eat the dark region of pizza, which might be a little bit confusing to you because you would say, well, would we have eaten the empty space? But just for our work today, I need you to understand that we are going to eat the dark region. I'm going to go ahead and highlight in yellow right now what region we're talking about. That's the region of pizza we're going to eat. So we're going to start by finding the area of the whole circle. So we're going to find area of the whole circle. Pi r squared sounds like area to me. Go ahead and write that formula down. It's great. Let's go. Area is pi r squared. Everybody's writing pi r squared. All right, so let's assume that to start, we would. what would happen if we ate the whole circle? So we'd have 3.14 multiplied by that radius squared. Now as I look at this picture, this is a diameter of 20. So if the diameter is 20, we would say that the radius is 10. So we're going to grab that 10 and put it in the radius spot. Go ahead and write. So we have 3.14 multiplied by 10 squared. 3.14 multiplied by 10 squared. Everybody should be typing that in their calculator. 3.14 multiplied by 10 squared. All right, here we go, guys. So as we multiply that, you should end up with 314 millimeters squared. That's the area of the whole circle. Dilemma is that we're actually not going to eat the whole pizza. Very few of us are going to eat the whole pizza. So then what do I do? Well, I'm going to identify the part of the circle that I'm going to eat, which is one half of the circle that's going to get eaten, or one half of the pizza. So what I'm going to do to find the area of one half is I'm going to say area is equal to one half of the whole pizza. And I know the value of the whole pizza. I just found it right here. It was 314 millimeters squared. So we're going to say, well, what is one half of 314 millimeters squared? Go ahead and type that in your calculator. Your calculator sequence on that would be 1 divide by 2 multiply by 314. Again, that's 1 divide by 2 multiply by 314. Everybody's typing in. Go, everybody's typing in. 1 divide by 2 multiply by 314. Answer so you should be coming up with is 157 millimeters squared. That is the area of pizza or this region of pizza that has been eaten. That's example 1, seventh grade. If we are going too fast right now, you need to pause, rewind, rewatch, and if you have a sub today, you should be saying, can you stop the video so we can catch up? Very politely, you should be saying, can we stop the video? All right, guys, here we go. Example two. In example two, we have, we're going to start off by finding the area of the whole pizza. Pi r squared sounds like area to me. That's what we start with. What we know then is that 3.14 represents pi multiplied by the radius squared. Now in this circle, we know that the radius goes from center to rim. So from center to rim is our radius, which gives us a radius of four. So we have 3.14 multiplied by four squared. That's finding the area of the entire circle. Everybody should be multiplying right now. In your calculator, then we have 3.14 multiplied by four squared. Go ahead and type that in, 3.14 multiplied by four squared. As you multiply that, you should be coming up with 50.24 
the units are meters squared. This is the area of the whole pizza. Now we're not done though, because in this particular problem, we're eating the dark region of pizza. So the green in this particular case, which means I'm eating the fraction three-fourths of the pizza. So really I need to find three-fourths the area. So we're going to go back and say to find the area, we are going to take three-fourths of the whole pizza. Everybody should be writing, go three-fourths of the whole pizza. The whole pizza we said was 50.24. So we're going to find three-fourths of 50.24. Go ahead and write that down. Three-fourths of 50.24. Here we go. In our calculator sequence, we're going to go 3 divided by 4. Multiply by 50.24. Go ahead and type that in. 3 divided by 4. Multiply by 50.24. And as we type that in, you should end up with 37.68 millimeters squared. That is the area of pizza that's been eaten, represented in green. All right, guys. Again, if we're going too fast, you need to pause, rewind. Make sure that you're understanding where we're getting those fractions, those parts. This is called area of sector. We're eating a section of the pizza today. We're eating a couple slices or half or a quarter of the pizza. All right, let's try this next example. In this next example, then, we're going to start off by finding the area of the whole pizza. I know it says you try. If you were in class with me right now, I would take a break, have you try it, and then we would solve it. But since this is through a video, we're going to go ahead and just have you plug away with me. We're going to assume we're going to find the area of the whole pizza. In order to do that, we would say 3.14 multiplied by the radius squared. Now, the diameter of that pizza is 12. So the radius of that pizza would be 6. So we're going to grab that 6 and plug it in. So we have 3.14 multiplied by 6 squared. All right. So in our calculator, then, we have 3.14 multiplied by 6 squared. Everybody's typing that in. 3.14 multiplied by 6 squared. All right, as we type that in, we end up with 113.04 1, millimeters squared. Again, that's 113.04 1, millimeters squared. That is the area of the whole pizza. Now, we didn't eat the whole pizza in this problem. We're eating the dark region, represented in green right now. So what I'm eating is one half of the pizza. So what we're going to do in our work then is we're going to find out what is the area of one half of the whole pizza. What's one half of the whole pizza? We're going to grab that 113.04 and we're going to plug it in. So we're going to have 113.04. So our calculator sequence on that then would be 1 half, 1 divided by 2, multiplied by 113.04. 1 divided by 2, multiplied by 113.04. Everybody's typing in. You should be getting an answer of 56.52. The units on that is millimeters squared. That is the area of half the pizza represented in green. There it is, seventh grade. Okay, we have another example over here on the right, which is looking like you maybe are eating two slices of pizza or one fourth of pizza if we were to cut that in half. Now, of course, we start with what is the area of the whole pizza? Area is pi r squared. So we'd say the area of the whole pizza is 3.14 multiplied by the radius squared. Radius goes from center to rim, 3.14 times 5 squared. Everybody type that in, 3.14 times 5 squared. 3.14 times 5 squared, because there's our radius. Again, we're eating the dark region. Okay, here we go. 3.14 times 5 squared. You should have 78.5 centimeters squared. That's the area of the whole pizza. We are not eating the whole pizza. This time we're eating the fraction one-fourth of the pizza. So the area would be one-fourth of the whole pizza. We know that the whole pizza is 78.5. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. And we're going to find out what one-fourth of the whole pizza is, because that's the region that we're eating, which would be 1 divided by 4. The operation in between is multiplication. And then we're going to multiply by 78.5. Go ahead and multiply 1 to our divide. Or we have 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 78.5. Here we go, guys. Typing that in, you should end up with 19.68 centimeters squared. Go ahead and check your work there. That is the area of one-fourth of the pizza called area of sector. Again, today we are finding the area of a section of pizza. So we start by finding the area of the whole pizza, and we multiply by the fraction of pizza that we are going to eat. We could use the de de uh, decimal equivalent as well, but in our work, the way I'm teaching it, we're going to just go straight fraction on that. All right, guys, here's a word problem. So here's a nice real world problem of what's going on. All right. 
A family pizza from Papa Murphy's has a diameter of 16 inches. Very important information right there. We have a diameter of 16 inches. Everybody draw a picture or a sketch of what's going on there. So we're gonna go ahead, this pizza has a diameter of the line that goes from side to side passing through the center is 16 inches. All right, sounds great, here we go. So if you split it evenly among your five friends, so that's five friends plus you, which means six people are gonna split that pizza. We're gonna have to slice it into six pieces. How many square inches of pizzas, pizza do you each get? Okay, so let's start by finding the area of the whole pizza. Now we know you're not eating the whole pizza because you're actually gonna split it with five of your friends. Five friends plus you is six ways. We're gonna divide by, or we're gonna cut into the six. Here we go, we have 3.14 multiplied by the radius squared. We're gonna have to identify the radius. What I have right now is a diameter, the line that goes from side to side. Passing through the center is called the diameter. I'm gonna grab the radius out of that, which would be a radius of eight. So we have 3.14 multiplied by the radius squared. 3.14 times eight squared. So 3.14 multiplied by eight squared. Everybody's typing that in. Let's go guys, everybody's typing it in. 3.14 multiplied by eight squared. As you type that in, you get that 200.96 inches squared. That's the area of the whole pizza. But our dilemma is this. We're going to split that pizza six ways. So what fraction of the pizza do you each get? You each get one-sixth of the pizza. So we're going to take what is one-sixth, because there are six of you. Each of you get one-sixth of the pizza. One-sixth of the whole. One-sixth of 200.96. That's what we're working for here. How much pizza are you going to get? So you're going to go ahead and uh, type that in your calculator sequence. That's one. Divide by six. Multiply by 20.96. Pardon me, 200.96. Again, that's one. Divide by six. Multiply by 200.96. As you type it in, guys, you should end up with 33.49 inches squared of pizza. That is how much pizza that you each get. All right, guys, so our work today was on called area of sector, or a section of pizza. We found, we start by uh, calculating, so in my summary today, step one is we're gonna use pi r squared, sounds like area to me, that's how we're gonna get the whole pizza, all the yummy stuff, the sauce, the crust, the area. And step two is gonna be that we're gonna multiply by the fractional part. Everybody should be writing that summary right now, guys. We're on page six, bottom section, the summary. So first, we're going to find the area of the whole pizza, and then we're going to multiply by the fractional part. All right, guys, so your homework for tonight is to do page seven. Everybody needs to get page seven done. Please show all your steps. Show the area formula, show the fractional part, show the multiplication. Yes, you can use your calculator to help you with the math. Uh, have a fabulous day, seventh grade. Great job today.